All right. Hi, everyone. This is uh, more of an informative video than anything. So today we are talking pizza delivery. Um, so what this segment is, is this is more us talking about jobs and what to expect and how you get dicked over uh, just working. So uh, for a pizza delivery, uh, basically what you do is you go to work and you drive your own car and generally you pay for your own gas. Sometimes the pizza place, depending on where you work, will give you gas compensation. Okay. So you're going to be responsible for doing dishes, cleaning the floors, you know, just cleaning up the restaurant, filling up the soda machines, folding boxes, doing a bunch of work inside the store. Uh, you're also going to be responsible for bringing people pizza. And your primary source of income throughout this is tips. Now, a lot of the time I've noticed, because I've worked a lot of different delivery jobs, and this segment is basically me talking about a bunch of different jobs and, you know, what kind of what to expect and how you, you know, again, get fucked over every single job you work, no matter what you do. <clears throat> um, so, you're delivering pizza, you drive up to a house, okay? And let's say, you know, it's the only job you could get. It's the only job you could find as a pizza delivery man, or a pizza delivery woman, a pizza delivery person, however you want to say it. You pull up to a house, it was five miles away, and uh, you get to the door, you give them their food, they pay for the food, and they don't tip you. Well, now you just spent your own money to drive out there with your own gas to bring them their food, and you basically made nothing off of it. Now, let's say you get paid five, six bucks an hour, you know, standard for a tip job. But in most tip jobs, you're not driving your own vehicle to go out somewhere. You're at a restaurant, and you're bringing people their food. And, like I said, if this is the only job you get, because, I mean, like, sometimes there are people, and granted, like, there are people who have like felonies for reasons but sometimes you you know you get a stupid felony a lot of jobs won't hire you you end up in pizza delivery hey guess what you're trying to support your family delivering pizzas you show up at somebody's house and they give you nothing to two dollars because for some reason two dollars has become an acceptable tip it's fucking stupid no don't do that you're a fucking moron if you tip two dollars you're a fucking idiot go shoot yourself don't actually go shoot yourself i probably shouldn't say that go um Go stand in the corner. You're on timeout, okay? Because nobody should shoot themselves over something like that. But at the same time, you really got to think. These people are working to provide for their family. They're working to support themselves. And they're expecting a tip because it is a tip job. When they show up at your house and you say, basically, yeah, no, fuck you, here's nothing. You know, or you give them $20 for a $19 in... 50 cent order and you're like keep the change oh yeah thanks buddy that 50 cents is going to help out a lot i'm really glad you're so fucking generous keep the change because clearly you need the 50 cents more than i do it's one of those things where you don't think about it and you don't realize that hey i'm kind of fucking with people's livelihood because i don't want to give them any extra money but they are also bringing that food out to you and sometimes, I mean, let's face it, sometimes you're pretty far away from where they have to go. It's a pretty decent drive. I know, because I've done it. That's why I don't deliver pizza anymore. But we'll get into that later. Um, basically, though, if you don't tip or you tip $2, you're a fucking asshole. Go stand in the corner. You're on timeout. Permanent timeout until you grow the fuck up and stop being an asshole. Um, if you tip $5, hey, you know, that's actually a really good tip. Like, I mean... I have to say it's a really good tip because most of the time you make a lot less than that. Now, if you're one of those people who tip like $10, $15, God bless your heart. You're such a generous person. I hope you realize that you are a shining model of what people should be when people are, you know, bringing you their your food for, you know, you're bringing you your food. If you're not going to tip, for God's sakes, get the fuck up off your lazy dipshit stupid ass. Grab your car keys and go pick it the fuck up. Because if you're going to fuck with people's livelihoods, you have no business ordering food. Just go get it yourself. Don't be fucking lazy. People aren't there to, to you know, to cater to you fucking hit. Like, uh, they're not there to cater to all your fucking needs. They're doing a job and providing a service. And you are expected to provide for said service. Now... Tipping is something for when, like, okay, you got your food at a reasonable time. Hey, it's hot. It's nice. It's good. All right, thanks. Here's a tip. This is for providing excellent service. 
Now I understand, you know, sometimes the food takes a little bit longer to get there. That does happen. And we understand that, you know, like as drivers, we do get it. But when you get your food super quick on time, everything's there, everything's good, everything's right. Tip. It's not that hard to understand. Don't be a fucking moron. Um, and, and another note, when I said, like, if your food's late or something's not right, that's not the driver's fault. That's inside the store. Call. Complain. Don't not tip the driver because you're dissatisfied. Because it's not the driver's fault. People do this for a living. And you're basically saying, hey, yeah, fuck you, your job is pointless, you know? Find another job. But then let's say everyone decided, okay, you know what, fuck it, we're not delivering pizzas anymore because people don't tip. Well, guess what? You're gonna bitch and moan and complain, oh, I don't want to come picking up, why can't they bring out the food they used to deliver? They're not delivering because you don't tip. It's that simple. If I ran a pizza place, let's say I, th hypothetically, I owned my own business and it was a pizza joint, and I had drivers coming out to you and you guys weren't tipping my drivers, I wouldn't deliver to you anymore. And when you called in and you're like, hey, why can't I get delivery? I'd say, well, because I don't have a driver who will deliver to you. You don't tip. You're an asshole. Click. Bye. It's over. You're done. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a Jeffrey. Don't be a Timmy. I don't know. I'm just making up names. If your name's Jeffrey or Timmy, fuck you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, if your name's Jeffrey or Timmy, I mean, you know, I'm just, I have no fucking idea. Uh, don't be an asshole. Like, it's, it's people's jobs you're fucking with. Don't be an asshole. And for people who prank call pizza places, you are some of the worst fucking people in the world. Because, again, people have to drive out there with their own money and their own gas to bring you your food. When you're calling in a prank call, you're basically taking time away from people where they make money. And you're taking money away because they have to put gas back in the car to compensate for driving out there for your fucking stupid ass prank call. Don't be a child. It's a grown-up world. Prank calls aren't funny. Grow the hell up. All right, uh, so that ends this segment. Uh, this is, uh, I, I guess I'll call this noob. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to call this. A either way, enjoy. I'll have one up for another type of job next week. I'm basically just going to go through and do like a bunch of different jobs because I've done almost everything. So this just kind of gives me the option to say, hey, fuck you guys, you're stupid, you know? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Noob Lord out.